Mostre e morta. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick, lands a kick. Oh, eats a knee. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open, and his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Oh! The next with a right. He gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Again, back into this position. Blocks the shot. tie now. That was a thudding leg kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Nice strike. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, collar tie. Oh. Oh, nice high kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Throws the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that's a good right hand. And they separate. Good punch. Now closes the distance. Oh, big head kick. Flush right hand is true. That is how you scramble, folks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big elbow. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Nice punch, Lynn. 
All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Look at the whip action that comes from that kick. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting Let's underway. Fight. Round one, fight. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick lands. Right hand on point. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Lands with a right hand. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He lands a big knee to the box. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. Oh, oh, big left hook there. Let me see that hook now. Big kick lands. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. It's okay. Keep going. Keep Real quick leg kick. Oh, how about the head movement? Flips his head off the center line and then rips back. Visibly limping here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Boy, Thai Plump. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throw your up kick. Under two minutes to go. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. He's trying to get to a half guard at least, at minimum. Try to go to half guard. He's back in full mount. 90 seconds now to go in round two. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice. Takedown defense holds up. 
Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Straight right hand, no good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg had so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. It. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Pretty good right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Good stick. Single collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Follows it up with a nice combination. Oh, collar tie. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, that's a nice strike. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice counter shot there. 
Oh, knee to the head. Straight right hand now, just misses. There's no kill on that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice body. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And they separate. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And they separate. Nice counter there with the left hand, snaps it off beautifully. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lunges forward with a left there. What a head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, big shot to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Oh! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. And now he lands a combination. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, get out of the way and avoid the shot. Lands the right hand. All right, see the collar tie now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big kick. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Let's go. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted.
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this.